Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see in the description, I've got another side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. And this is a modern renaissance dupe. So right from the jump, let's get this challenge going. Which eye is my high-end eye? Is it gonna be my left is my high end or my right is my high end? Leave that in the comments below. Let me know what you think and keep watching to find out if you were right to see which palette performed better. And uh, if you can't tell which eyes which, because honestly, in my opinion, if I didn't know, I wouldn't be able to tell. So let me know that too. So let me go ahead and show y'all these palettes, just a couple of swatches. You know, I don't like to do all of them, but I will do a few just so y'all can see how similar these are. So this is a dupe for Modern Renaissance. If you've never seen Modern Renaissance and you're living under a rock, here we go. And no offense guys, I know some people that are watching this, they aren't into high-end makeup that much, but Modern Renaissance is the bomb. And this is the comparison. This is the dupe. This is called Royals. And like most of the dupes that I feature on this channel, this is by Bad Habit. It is on shophush.com for $10, free shipping, only takes two days to get in as long as you use the app. So, first off, that's wonderful. Here is the front of the palette. And uh, it's got all the ingredients and all that good stuff. And it is a cruelty-free product which is important to a lot of people. So uh, let me go ahead and show you these two palettes right by each other. Off the jump, I don't even have to get it close to you, you can see that these and the dupe are much bigger pans. However, the palette is thinner, so there may not actually be so much more product, just more room to put your brush in. But if you can see, these are super, super similar. I'm not going to swatch for you the colors that I use in this look because you will see how similar they are as I go along and hopefully you can see now how similar they are. But I am going to swatch a couple. I'm going to swatch, let me see which one is my shimmer. I'm going to swatch Venetian Red, that is the pinkish shimmer in the Modern Renaissance palette next to Regal. And there is a difference. These are one finger swatches. Let me see if I can get this to focus. There we go. Modern Renaissance is up top. The dupe is on the bottom. Definitely a difference, but doesn't necessarily mean they don't perform exactly the same. Let me also get for you Antique Bronze. Ooh, that is super pretty. I hardly ever use that color, and I don't know why. And Honor. This is going to be our kind of coppery brown metallic. And with this one, they are right beside those reds. There really isn't much difference. Top is Modern Renaissance. Bottom is Royals. So as you can see, I mean, there might be a little bit more pigmentation in this Anastasia palette, but not just a whole lot. Um, they're definitely extremely similar. Royals palette does not come with a brush, so if that is a deal breaker for you, that is a difference. They both do have good size mirrors, and they are just both extremely similar. So, what I need you to do right now is go ahead and hit that in the comments. Is this my high-end eye, or is this? And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that button. I bring these dupes to y'all every time I can. Uh, usually they do come off of the Hush app. I absolutely adore that app. I think it's a great little store. They have wonderful dupes, good products, and they do have some brand name stuff as well. So I definitely like to feature their products all the time just because they are so affordable and Lucky for me, all the dupes I've been coming out with already have the high end, so I can show you all the side by side so you can actually see how they perform as compared to the more expensive version of the product. But subscribe to my channel, hit those notifications, and if you like these dupe videos, especially the side by sides, hit that like button so I know that this is what I need to try to do the most. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get y'all into that tutorial. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so the first rule of these is always that I use two very similar brushes, one for this side and one for this side. And I'm going to go in first with just a shade to set everything. Uh, when I'm using my Modern Renaissance, this is always tempura. And here we go with the reveal. <laughs> this is going to be my high end eye. So we'll just take this and we'll set down that MAC paint pot, which I used for both eyes. <clears throat> and then we'll come over here to our Royals palette and the closest shade we have to Tempura is going to be Treasury right here. And it's almost exactly the same. <clears throat> at least in the palette it is. So we're just going to lay that down. Okay, so I'm just going to do basically what is my everyday look since I do use this palette all the time. So the next thing I typically do is go in with Okay, I go in with Raw Sienna, it's right here in this corner, and I'm just going to take it and put it in my crease. Okay, so now that that is down and it's just my transition shade, we're going to go into this other palette, the Royals palette, and we are going to use No. <clears throat> That's right here, and it looks like the closest match to Raw Sienna. So Noble is going to be the closest one we've got, <clears throat> so we're just going to take it and put it in the crease. So those are looking pretty similar. Um, the next thing I usually do for my everyday look is to dip into my red ochre right here. And I don't think I've ever actually shown you all this look. This is what I did like for example on my birthday video. This is the look I had on. <clears throat> It's one of those that I just kind of do every day, so I know how it's supposed to look. <laughs> so we're just going to put this in the crease. Okay, so for the Royals palette, it is looking like rain right here is going to be the closest. It's not quite as vibrant in the pan but it may be once we get it on the eyelid. We shall see. Okay, so it is not quite as dark, but after I built it, it was easier to get that same intensity it still is a tiny bit different but not bad so next we take our modern renaissance and we go into cypress umber that's right here and we just put that into the outer corner and kind of in the outer v just to add a little bit to it So we're going to come over here and we're going to go into Grand, which is the similar shade to Cypress Umber. And we're just going to do the same thing and put that in our outer corner.
Okay, so here's where I can tell the difference. With this dark color, it definitely blooms easier over here, but I can't get the intensity I want without having to go back over it like five times. Or over here, it only took me like two little pats and then the eyelid. It's so not saying it's a bad thing, because sometimes having to build something up can be better, because if you're a beginner and you don't know to tap your brush off or whatever, uh, having that really easy pigment in a dark color can be a really bad thing. But for me, I mean, it looks the same. It was just this side took a little bit longer. <clears throat> so now we have our crease done. That's all I ever do. So the next thing I'm going to go into is, uh, yeah, I'm going to go into Primavera. This is kind of our gold shimmer. And I'm just going to take that on my finger and lay it down on my lid. They managed to really recreate this color and this consistency. I'm going to be so impressed. You have no idea. So I'm going to wipe my finger off. And then over here, it looks like crown is going to be the same. So we're just going to take that the exact same way. It does feel different, but let's see how it looks. Primavera over here just to match these up since I got this other color just a little bit higher okay so they look similar but they do not feel similar and that is not necessarily a bad thing like I've said you know they're dupes you know well, one product is $42 and the other one is $10. Like, of course, there's going to be differences that are probably pretty major. But that's to be expected. So that's totally okay. That is going to be it for our look up here. So I'm going to hop off here, do the rest of this face, and then I'll be right back for my lower lash line. So I will see y'all in just a second. Okay, so I'm back with my face done. And there's just a couple more steps left. <clears throat> I'm going to do my lower lash line and like I always do, I'm just going to go back in with a couple of the shades I use. So over here it's going to be raw sienna and red ochre just to get that on the lower lash line. Okay, so that's it for over here and then on this side we are going to go back into uh, see if I can get this noble and rain so these two okay so that takes care of the lower lash line now all we have left is just going to be our inner corner and our brow bone which I want to do the same color I always do I always use Vermeer over here Try my Primavera and I just take it on my finger to stick it in here and then a little bit more on my finger to put it up here and that always finishes off my look so now I need to take it on this side and it's going to be called Queen in this palette <coughs> I'm going to wipe my finger off and just do the same thing. Okay, I can tell you the difference in Primavera and Queen. Let me turn this brightness down so you can see it a little better. Okay, so the only difference is going to be that this is like way more metallic, not really chunky, but kinda, and this side is more creamy. So it's pretty much the difference. Um, but with that, I am done with this look. 
uh, in my opinion. I mean, like I said, with all these bad habit dupes, they're really good quality for $10. Really good quality for like $20, honestly, if they wanted to up their prices. But please don't, because that would not be very nice. But, uh, I mean, these are all really good products. They look wonderful. They're very comparable. Um, I mean, if I'm walking around in town, nobody's going to be able to really tell that one I was done with a $10 palette and one was done with a 42 you would have to get super close. Now we'll see, like, you know, sometimes these don't always wear as long or, you know, they may break down a little differently. And then on some days, you know, I've noticed that these actually last longer. So the wearing throughout the day is really what is going to be the telltale sign of which one, you know, people can actually tell that it's different. But I mean, just looking in the mirror and looking in the viewfinder, there's no major difference in these palettes. Uh, they're very comparable. They're almost identical. You can still make gorgeous looks and you can save yourself 30 something dollars. Now, Modern Renaissance is my favorite palette. It is most people's favorite palette, if I'm being honest. Because if you go on makeup groups and you say, I have no makeup palettes, what do I get first? This is everyone's answer always is it's easy to work with it's gorgeous if all you've ever done is browns and stuff this will get you a little bit out of your comfort zone but nothing too crazy with the reds and whatnot so it's a great palette but seeing a dupe for it for those who really can't afford to just go out and splurge on a 42 dollars palette definitely amazing um like always i'm very impressed with these bad habit dupes they're incredible great quality yeah so uh, if you want my opinion this is definitely a hit you know even if you already have modern renaissance if you just want this for a backup because if you're like me i hate using my expensive palettes every day because i don't want to run out and i don't want to have to rebuy them so you can get this as a backup um maybe if you have kids and they want play makeup and you want to give them something super good but not spend money on it get this you know something like that but it's definitely a good palette and I'll definitely reach for it a lot and I would be more likely to travel with this because if I do break it I'm not losing that much money compared to what I would lose if I broke my modern renaissance so I definitely think this is a wonderful alternative this is a great palette um, I hope you all enjoyed this comparison I'm gonna try to get some out for you soon I hear there is a natural love um, dupe coming out on Halloween I think and it's gonna be a little more expensive like 15 but it's got 30 colors so what do you expect so hopefully that'll be my next comparison because I do have the natural love palette so I'm gonna to try to get that out for y'all soon if there's anything in particular you want to see just let me know in the description and uh, I hope you'll have an amazing day and I will see you on Thursday bye guys